okay so moving on to our next question by using euclid's algorithm find the largest number which divides 650 and 1170 now this is very important uh, i'm very sure many of you guys would be ge getting the answer very easily but some of you guys might be feeling it trouble that how to find where how to know that where to find hcf and where to find lcm now for this i will give a very clear funda very easy funda and you should apply it everywhere see here it is asking find the largest number which divides these two numbers now you just answer me one thing if you have to divide any number then that divisor would be less than that number or more than that number i guess very sure divisor will always be less than or equal to the number so always remember that whenever the answer which is being asked from you is a lesser number than the given values if it is a lesser number always apply highest common factor this works vice versa this works opposite if you are being asked a answer if you are being asked a number which is less than the given number you will apply highest common factor and if the answer being asked is a number higher than the given number you will apply lowest common multiple lcm i guess i'm clear with this now moving on to next you have to find a number which divides both the numbers this means you have to find the hcf of this these numbers so how are you going to find the hcf let's see this so the first step would you what you would be doing if you are going through a long division method you will be writing this and see if the question writes euclid's algorithm then surely you should go with the long division method now let me tell you this steps what i am showing you you can do these steps in the rough also but writing the euclid division algorithm means dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus algo uh, remainder is important means for here you will write 1170 is equal to 650 into 1 plus 520 that is important but what i do recommend to my students is you will do this either this way or that way either in rough or in fair so better write it in the fair means at least the examiner would would come to know that yes you have done it right and examiner it would be easy for the examiner to evaluate it so the next division 650 was divided over 520 was the remainder now 520 will work as a divisor and this divisor will be new dividend so i have again divided divided it 520 one times 520 remainder coming as 130 now this 130 would be divisor and the new dividend would be 520 130 would divide 520 in four times so we have got the zero now what what next next is euclid's algorithm so the algorithm which follows here is first hcf <coughs> for 650 and 7 uh, uh, 1170 the first algorithm would be 1170 is equal to 650 into 1 plus 520 dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder the next algorithm lies 650 is equal to 520 into 1 plus 130 and the third lies 520 is equal to 132 into 4 130 into 4 sorry plus remainder so these three algorithms i have written it now you will do the long division method that 130 is the largest number which can divide both 650 and 1170 so by using this method you should approach because it is written here euclid's division algorithm so the first portion which i have shown you you can write it down in the rough also that's not a big issue but i suggest you write it down in the fair only but these steps are very important and required let me tell you this question has a lower probability for four marker but yes a good probability for a two marker or a three marker three marker it's a very average good probability and for a two marker also it can come but it won't come for a four marker question now moving on to our next <clears throat> so finally and always remember that you should always write down the conclusion that therefore or hence proved or finally 130 is the hcf of these two numbers because this last line carries marks this last line has validity so always write this last line that hence my answer is this so that examiner should know that you have concluded this answer that is very important now moving on to our next this is our next question here uh, the thing which i have just now said you you would be able to apply it here read out the question very uh, fast two tankers contain 850 liters and 680 liters of petrol respectively find the maximum capacity of a container which can measure the petrol either of either tanker in exact number of times now what does it mean i'll tell you in uh, yeah, means uh, i'll elaborate you how what does it mean 
there are two tankers okay 850 and 650 uh, 850 liters and 680 liters okay uh, sorry there is a misprint 680 liters now it is asking that you should have a container with which i can measure the amount of this both the containers means say for example you should have a small mug with this you will fill this whole mug and you will put it petrol or uh, what is tanker petrol whatever is this you will put it in this so say for example if you take three marks four marks or 10 marks or 100 marks but that should be an integer it should not be like that you have uh, filled this mug three and a half times then this container is full means you are being asked how many times how many marks you need to fill this container and similarly here also how many marks do you need to fill this container completely now let me tell you that if this is 850 liters and if this is 650 liters then surely this mug is going to fill it in a multiple number of times but that multiple number of times would it be equal to 850 or something less than that means what i am trying to tell if you have to fill a bottle of one liter means 1000 milliliter so will you fill it using a milliliter of 1000 times or if you are using some small bottle you would be filling it in two times or three times something like that isn't it that is a normal sense so if you are filling a container of 850 liters will you fill it for 850 times or you will use a mug that might be for some 10 liters or 20 liters or 50 liters and you will use it some that much times 10 times 20 times or 30 times like that this means again a common sense says that here the answer which is being asked from us the answer which is being asked from us is a number lesser than these numbers a number lesser than these numbers this means we need to find out the hcf and this is how we will come to know that we need to find the hcf now moving on to next if we have come to know that we are required hcf two tankers of kerosene oil 850 and 680 liters so we will be finding we need to find the maximum measuring capacity of the container to measure both the tankers and hence hcf is required for 850 and 680 now we know that hcf here none of the step is said that you need to find out through euclid division or long division so it's up to you so i guess most of the time the easiest method is uh, long division method so maximum measuring capacity of 850 and 680 would be using the long i have done it using the long division method so you can just do it in the rough or in the fair anywhere you want so dividing to uh, 680 by 2 the prime factorization method and similarly <coughs> dividing it by multiple times getting the value these all are the prime factors when you will be dividing it so what you have got for 850 also you can do it in the similar method dividing by 2 then dividing by 5 and then dividing by 5 again and then dividing by 70 so you have got all the numbers now i will be writing what the prime factors are looking like so here see the prime factors are looking like 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 17 so here and for the 850 it is 2 into 5 into 5 into 17 so I have written the common parts here. See, 2 into 5, 2 into 5, 17, 17. And the remaining 2s and remaining 5s have been written in the last part. So I have written it just to make common to them. See, 2, 2 common, 5, 5 common and 17, 17 common. So just like, and see, you know, the kind of animations or the kind of uh, pictorial representation I am using here, just imagine if you would be able to use the same thing in your examination copy how much beautiful it would be what i mean i don't mean that you should color it you should do one thing once you have written this then just do a encircle like this encircle like this encircle like this so that examiner should also think that yeah wow this guy is great he has done all the presentation he has got all the presentation skills and he has presented the answer so beautifully because always remember beautiful things are really priceless say for example if you go to a shop uh, a mithai shop or a sweet shop and if you go it and the shop is very dilly dally very bad condition flies are roaming around will you buy a sweet from there no no matter how much good it is no matter how much guarantees he gives you but you won't having you won't have a faith but say for example if you go to a very good shop big shop presentation is very nice packing is very nice all things are clean and clear no matter even if it is uh, making a bad quality sweet you will buy it 
why because the presentation is really very nice so that is why presentation matters always keep your copy very clean very clear and very beautiful so using these skills you can make your copy very look like very beautiful now <clears throat> moving on to next so the hcf comes here is 2 into 5 into 17 all the common terms taken one times and hence we are getting 170 so the maximum measuring capacity the mug which we should use for measuring both the tanks separately is 170 liters mug so using that 170 liters mug in how much times we would be able to measure it so for the first tank that is of 850 liters we would be able to measure it in five times using that 170 liter mug five times we will be getting 850 and for the next 170 we would be able to measure it in four times because 170 into 4 makes it 680 so this is the final answer of this question i guess you would have got this question because it's an again easy question i was just telling you the how to write the steps and apart from that which kind of questions you should focus because see till now using in all these three questions you would have been able to get it that in which kind of question you should focus and i am telling you these all are the blueprints you should focus and concentrate on these kind of questions rather than because there are n number of questions out there in the book in the market but you need not to focus on all of them focus on these kind of questions you will be getting the right track okay next is the question find the value of minus one plus minus one raised to power 2n plus minus 1 raised to power 2n plus 1 plus minus 1 raised to power 4n plus 1 where n is any positive odd integer but you know this last line is not required because this last line n is any positive odd integer is just to confuse you it's not required anywhere i'll just show you how you have to find this let me tell you this could be a question for two marker uh, or one marker three marker would be too much for this question so let's solve this question but this is an important question so the first solution my you have written the question here given and let me tell you given information is very important so always write the given information okay we know that 2n is even because it's a multiple of 2 so 2 multiplied by 2 any number it's an even number and 2n plus 1 is an odd number and similarly 4n because 4 times any number is also even even plus 1 is odd Similarly here, 2 times n, even, even plus 1 is odd. So this is even and odd numbers. Now I have written all the even and odds. Now in the next step, this minus 1 to the power 2n, 2n is even, so I have written minus raise, 1 raised to power even. Why I have written this? Because you all must be knowing that negative raised to power any even number is always positive. So you will write it even in the examination, it's writing it, it's, it's completely fine. So minus 1 raised to power even is 1. You have I have shown this. And minus 1 raised to power odd is minus 1. So I have shown this. Now once I have showed this, I can use this value. Minus 1, plus 1, minus 1 and minus 1. And hence we have got our value that our value is minus 2. It was an easy question but writing the steps is very important guys. So don't forget to write the steps in a proper manner. 